Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a pathetic old man. How dare you get in the way of my brilliant plan, you dog. Run along now. Thanks for all your help, sir. <laughs> Because there is still a role that I require you to fulfill. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. First time I saw you cry, your tears would be for me. It's sad, and yet I'm happy for it. Thank you, kid. So this is where your father lived. Hmm? If turning back the hands of time was not enough to save his life, you must accept what came to pass was fate. Agreed. We cannot let the wicked ones run free. Oh, your father said to look for something here. He must have been referring to whatever is behind that bookcase there. Your father's diary? Huh. His handwriting is prettier than his face would suggest. Well, well. These entries here are from before your birth. He seems to have been writing this for quite some time. Hmm? Oh. Read that part there. Horsebow Moon, year 1159. Day 20 of the Horsebow Moon. All is cloudy. I can't believe she's dead. Lady Rhea said she died during childbirth. But is that the truth? And still, the child she traded her life for doesn't make a sound. Didn't even cry at birth. Day 25 of the Horsebow Moon. It's raining. The baby doesn't laugh or cry. Not ever. Lady Rhea says not to worry about a baby that doesn't cry. It isn't natural. I had a doctor examine the child in secret. He said the pulse is normal, but there's no heartbeat. No heartbeat? Day two of the Wyvern Moon. Sunny. I feel I must take the child and leave. But the church is always watching us. I don't know what Lady Rhea has planned. I used to think the world of Lady Rhea. Now I'm terrified of her. Day 8 of the Wyvern Moon. More rain. I used the fire that broke out last night to fake the child's death. Lady Rhea is in a state over the news, but I can't change what I've done. I've got to take the child and leave. Well now, that baby must be you. That means... Hmm? Someone is approaching us. Ah, here you are. To think that Captain... that Gerald would meet his end like that. I hope you know that you were the most important thing in the world to him.
He wasn't the most emotional guy. I'm sure expressing his affection wouldn't have come naturally to him. After what's happened, it's up to me now. I, Alois, swear to protect you in the captain's stead. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time for my blathering. Lady Rhea is looking for you. I came to tell you that. I'll take my leave now. This book is filled with secrets yet unknown. We must return another time to read the rest. Oh, but I have at least figured one thing out. I know now why our fates are intertwined. Professor, I have been waiting for you. I am filled with grief at the loss of our most celebrated knight. Gerald was an ally of many years, and also a dear friend. He fell in love with one of the nuns here at Garrigmark. Their love produced a child whom she died giving birth to. It was her decision. She weighed her own life against that of her child's and, in the end, implored me to save the child. Your father never truly accepted that decision. He took the child Your mother. Sorry for the interruption, Lady Rhea. There's something you must hear immediately. A report from the knights patrolling the area. Very well. Professor, you are dismissed for the day. Please rest and focus only on mending your heart. Where the goddess dwells. You're here again. Professor, you've been crying. So, even you cry sometimes. Oh, I suppose that was thoughtless of me to say. My teacher, you're so blinded by grief that you can't see what's going on right in front of you. Are you waiting for time to heal your wound? Or have you curled up in a corner and lost the will to carry on? It's not like you to speak to me like that. You know I'd never ask you a question without purpose. Only you can truly understand your own sad. Others can sympathize or even empathize, but all anyone else can offer are the tears of an outsider looking in. So I have no intention of crying for you or of standing still with you. All I can do is promise to reach out my hand when the time comes for me to move forward. The mysterious organization that was carrying out experiments in Remire Village and the chapel, they're up to something near Garrig Mach. The Archbishop has sent the Knights to undertake a large-scale investigation. No information has surfaced yet, but our enemies will soon be discovered. When they are, will you lead us into battle, or will you just sit here with no thought for the future that is fast approaching? My teacher, there is a choice to be made. I hope you make the right one. My, my. She really is quite arrogant. She spoke her mind without an ounce of reservation. But she is right. The time has come to stand again. You know already what your answer is. Oh, thank you. You saved me. If you were to die, then the mystery of our bodies would be revealed. Preventing that was my only aim. I'm afraid you must remain, Kronya. There is something I need you to do. Oh, of course. I am always happy to cooperate with Solon. Leave it to me. How annoying. Flame Emperor, is she offending you? Unfortunately, we cannot take our eyes off her, so there is nothing to be done. You are our greatest creation. We use the defiled beast's blood as the fuel to your flame, that you may burn even the gods. Now is the time to cleanse Fodlin with that power and bring forth our salvation. There will be no salvation for you and your kind. Those responsible for such gruesome deeds in Dusker and Enmar. 
All so that you may acquire the strength you need. All for a purpose. Professor, I know where the enemy is. Where Solon is. They're in a place called the Sealed Forest, close to the monastery. The Archbishop is gathering the knights to begin a search. She's doing so in secret, behind our backs. She must be afraid that a thirst for revenge will compel you to seek them out. Now that you know, will you give us the order? No, I will not allow it. This discovery comes just when the knights are at their busiest. It is all too likely that our foes revealed themselves to lure you out there. They are the ones who took Geralt from you. I know how you must despise them, but I must ask you to rein in your personal feelings for now. Please, Professor, do not act carelessly. I ask that you leave this to us. Losing you so soon after losing Gerald would be unbearable. Lady Rhea, our professor is not acting out of revenge. Sending us out there is the most strategic move we can make. You can't deny it. Most of the knights are still far away. Not only does our professor wield a hero's relic, but there is no one here who is more powerful. Sedith and the few remaining knights can't leave the monastery unattended. We have fought under our teacher's command countless times. We are the most effective army here, and we are already prepared for battle. We have no idea what the enemy is plotting. We must act now. Professor, do you agree with this strategy? Understood. I will give you the order. Destroy the enemy that is hiding in the sealed forest. You have the... Let's go, my teacher. Whatever happens, do not lose your conviction out there. We are now within the sealed forest. We must not let our guard down. Professor, we'll avenge Gerald for you, no matter what. Remember, it is a bad idea to get distracted by revenge. I have readiness. Our enemies will be taking... Uh, we will take our enemies down. Well, it's not like we have any other missions this month. I suppose this is as good a way as any to spend our energy. Lower your voice. The enemy could be close. It is time to repay the kindness of the professor who saved my life. Professor, I know I'm the one who insisted we come here. But don't doubt for a moment that the enemy is waiting for you. Lady Edelgard, what are you saying? What other objective could they possibly have? We have no clue what kind of trap is waiting for us. Please be careful, my teacher. We can't afford to lose you. The enemy is strong, but you will prevail. You must. 